Hello everyone and welcome back to the Keep Productive YouTube channel. My name is Francesca D'Alessio and I'm your host here for another video. So in today's video what we're doing is announcing the winners of the Keep Productive Awards 2017 that we launched last week. You guys have been voting away. We've just had I think it was 155 responses which is fantastic uh, and for a week that's great. I think uh, obviously next year we're gonna give it a bit more time to allow more uh, obviously more entries and things like that and hopefully we'll keep this as a running annual award. So without further ado let's dive into who won the awards this year. So just to remind you on the uh, award categories we had best to-do list application, best calendar application, best note-taking app, best Chrome extension, best new productivity application, best product release slash update, best Mac application, and best health or fitness application. So let's start with the best to-do list application and the winner of the best to-do list application this year has been Todoist. Todoist trumped everyone in the responses, which is really amazing, getting over half of the responses that nominated Todoist as the winner. In second place, we actually had a close tie between Things 3 and TickTick, but Things 3 came in second place. So the best calendar application, we had a lot of entries here, a lot of people uh, sharing some of the default calendar applications, but Google Calendar was the winner this year with a lot of entries with a close second Fantastic Out 2. Best note-taking application of 2017 went to Evernote. Evernote trumped everyone else with Bear coming in a close second, which was pretty impressive, and OneNote following that group. Best Chrome extension actually was quite a tight one between the likes of Grammarly and Evernote, but the winner was Evernote. Evernote's Web Clipper won the award this year. The best product release of the year actually stood out and that was Things 3 as the winner this year with a Tick Tick 4.0 as the second place but Things 3 won that one. Best new productivity app went to Things 3 again which is pretty impressive. So two awards there for Things 3. Best Mac application almost went to Things 3 again but Todoist Mac application was voted as the best Mac app of 2017. And finally, the best health and fitness application of 2017 went to Headspace with Calm in a close second. So guys, those were the winners of the Keep Productive Productivity App Awards of 2017. It was great to do this and I'm so glad everyone put in entries. Uh, over 150 sponsors is fantastic. And naturally, you guys got to vote for your opportunities. So I will put all of those guys in the description below and I want to mention some of my ratings for this year. So I would give the best to-do list app of 2017 probably to TickTick, and mainly because I think what it's done in terms of chasing and catching up with the likes of Todoist has been very impressive. So for best calendar application, I would probably give it to Calendars 5, which I've been thoroughly impressed with this year and very much looking forward to Calendar 6. In terms of the best note-taking application, I would give a really big head nod to the likes of Evernote. I think Evernote did a great job this year. Chrome extension wise, I've been thoroughly impressed by Grammarly. I would give my nod to Grammarly as the best Chrome extension. The best product release or update of the year, Things 3 without a doubt has been phenomenal this year, so head nod to them. Productivity app of 2017, I think again, for me, goes to Things 3. Uh, I think it again did a great entry to the market and everything just went so smoothly for that. The best Mac app of 2017, I would give that probably to Notion. Notion would be my nomination for that. And finally, my best health or fitness application would probably head for a life sum. I've been very impressed by that application in 2017. Anyway guys, I hoped that you enjoyed the awards this year. I really appreciate it. If you want to watch 2016's awards of what I nominated for and voted for, that was just for myself. No one voted that year, but this year and annually we'll get you guys to vote. Then I'll put it in the description below. But guys, I really appreciate it. I hope that you enjoyed the awards. I hope that the outcomes were great for you. Feel free to discuss it in the comments below. It'd be great to hear what your opinions are on the final nominations. Uh, so feel free to pop those in the comments. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for stopping by. Make sure to have a great week. Make sure to subscribe if you're not. And have a great day. Keep productive. And I'll see you guys very, very soon. Cheers.